Hello, just Jamie here, and this is showing off my Master Clan Screaming Bell model miniature. I wouldn't say this was a miniature, actually, if comparing with a regular size Citadel miniature. As you can see, the size of the Screaming Bell is uh, pretty big, considering uh, Games Workshop models sizes. So, um, I've had this one pretty much since my Echoes of Doom uh, box set opening which was several months ago now on my channel if you've not seen that uh, Check it out under my games workshop playlist and you'll see exactly what you get in Echoes of Doom box set Which is pretty much uh, Slid F and Skavens So obviously this screaming bell model is a part of the Skavens and above it here standing on the bell we have a grey seer which is part of the master clan so it's a great model and I've invested countless hours of time and patience uh, getting it to this spec. Uh, so my ideas behind it was a steampunk aesthetic. So if you check out the wood combined juxtaposed with uh, the brasses and the silvers and the bronzes, we have uh, a steampunk aesthetic going on which I really like um, the reason being is that I looked at the Citadel uh, miniature painting guys app and uh, generally I like the way Games Workshop advertises their miniatures their painting standards but I couldn't think that the way this one was painted as standards from the Games Workshop advertising it was anything special so I went out my way to uh, make planks of wood on there different colors of wood so I use odd colors like Carrick stone mixed with Agrax earth shade to give different tone colors so if we take a look at the wheels here uh, we got different combinations of wood colors going on the dark wood a pale wood and also even uh, things like the caps on the wheels we have uh, lots of different colors going on bronzes brasses silvers, uh, you know metal uh, Type looking colors going on uh, simply because I just thought a, a model of this magnitude needed a bit of sprucing up rather than how the games workshop are marking it which I think is a little bit boring and after all uh, the Skaven are rodent hybrids so their uh, one of their goals is to scavenge things to build uh, contraptions like this so uh, rather than keeping everything as a standard one color, I think it would be a bit more uh, real if these rodents were to scavenge bits and pieces to make these type of devices, these miracles. So yeah, a lot of time and energy has gone into this one and if we check out the clouds just here, what I've done is I mixed up my own color of gray, a very, very light gray and I've used a towel green shade to pick out the recesses. I'm not sure if this is going to come out well on camera, but there are some seriously, seriously cool shades of green going on in this. Um, other bits and pieces I noticed was the picking out the ropes. So what I did was, I'm pretty sure it was a Ragar Flesh base I used on the ropes. And then I mixed um, Agrax Earthshade on there to bring out the recesses. And then I went back over it in, um, I think it was a pale colour, like a Carrick Stone. So lots going on here. And obviously to finish off this piece, I've uh, used the Army Painter base box set. So, you know, I've put on grass, I've put on bits and pieces of Army Painter Stone, that type of thing. And I've got actually got an unboxing video on that as well if you check out through my playlist. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. And just a note as well, if we take a look at the brickwork on here, you'll notice that I picked out, very carefully picked out the edges of the stones. Uh, what I did with that, I used a dry brush uh, with a dry stone, uh, some sort of white stone color, just to pick out the edges to give it more of a realistic effect and I've also used a dawnstone layer to get the color of gray and I then put in a nun oil to go deep into the holes of the rock to give it that effect. Yeah without a doubt this one has been the most worthwhile miniature or large miniature I've painted in a long time and um, for a very cheap model on average this one's around 25 to 30 pounds um, it's a decent worthwhile model, so if you're a bit like myself, rather painting than playing the game as such, and you want something sizable to paint, then without doubt the Screaming Bear, which has actually got another option 
of uh, converting it to something else entirely. Uh, for example, free scavens at the back holding the chain for the bell. Uh, there is an option available when you buy a screen bell to change uh, the variation. So. Uh, without a doubt, check out the Screaming Bell. It is a fantastic miniature, and the Echoes of Doom box set is also fairly cheap as well, where you're also going to get a, a sizable uh, Skaven tree man, uh, tree person. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on the colors I've used or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. And I don't actually think I've shown uh, much of the grey sear at the top, but I'm going to just zoom into that a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's going to come out proper on colour, but yeah, I'll just bend it over just a little bit. So yeah, very cool model and definitely worth your while in investing for a very cheap price. So thanks for watching and check out my other Games Workshop videos.